Okay, everybody, I'm on a mission. I did some research last night. I'm going to lose this belly fat if it kills me. It's Now, I know everybody thinks it's not such a big deal, but it is. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, see. There, like it's really, it's way up there. It's way up in my cavity, and it's very hard for me to breathe. And I have Parkinsonism, and I can't climb the friggin' stairs. Yeah, so it's 15 pounds of belly fat, but it makes a difference. And it isn't just about the fact that I can't fit it any of my clothes. And I have beautiful gowns that I custom made myself. But it's the fact that it makes me feel sick. I mean, it really, I, okay, I, to, to people I look skinny. Well, I am not skinny. I'm 140 pounds. And uh, I used to be 5'8", but now I shrunk. I'm 77, going on 78, and I'm down to about five and a half feet. So anyway, um, I'm starting with uh, chicken, organic, of course. Um, they say breast, but I'm sorry, I can't stand the breast. And if you cool it off, it'll, it'll take all the fat off anyway. Once it cools off, I scrape all the fat off. But so it's chicken with a bit of curry um, and Mrs. Dash. Yeah, Mrs. Dash and curry and cayenne pepper. Um, I did a test too. I took cinnamon and I put it in a, a small cup, um, a small, like a cup of distilled water, and I let it boil for almost, um, gee, I guess it must have been almost uh, about an hour and a half, and it did not dissolve. So um, I'm going to cut up. I'm cutting up, um, cutting up this here. Um, cabbage. Cabbage, white cabbage. I don't like the taste of red. They say it's more healthy, but fooey. It's got no flavor. And this is like a negative calorie. It's harder to digest, but I gotta cook it to death because it gives me cramps. But that's okay, and it helps to detox. As well as okra. Just slicing it up, and I'm going to cook it in a separate pot. Big chunks, because I'm just going to eat it with a bit of vinegar. And uh, to sweeten it, a little bit of pineapple juice. And uh, for now, this is going to get boiled. The cabbage, it's going to get boiled, and uh, I'll show you the dinner later. And I'm also, I also bought um, broccoli and carrots. And um, yeah, it's very cheap, actually. I'll show you. It's just frozen. Yeah, it's not organic, but I mean, I'm on it for a very short period of time. Oh, it's in here somewhere. Yeah, this one, it's just. Yeah, it's just uh, cheap from Metro, $3 a bag, and uh, it's a California mix. And peas, well, my peas are organic, and my broccoli's organic. And uh, I'll, I'll keep posting, and we'll see how this goes. This is the cabbage um, in a large pot with about, um, oh, what, an inch and a half of distilled water. And no spices. I'll put the spices on when I eat it. And I'm going to cover that and cook it for an hour. Okay, now you can see it's boiling like crazy, so I've turned it down to simmer, and that'll be for an hour. This is Dan's, Dan's supper. It doesn't look like much, but actually it's extremely healthy, healthy complex carbohydrates. I'm going on a negative car calorie diet. It's uh, brown rice, quinoa, mushrooms, onions, peas. A bit of carrot and um, a couple of slices of uh, steak, um, which is organic uh, beef tenderloin. Very expensive, but I didn't use much. You know, a couple of slices and that's it. Over and out. Okie doke. Bon appetit. No, I'm not finished. <laughs> Just started. Okay, now I've washed everything out. I uh, spray white vinegar. I put it in a bottle and I spray white vinegar on everything. I don't use soap. I clean all my cooking utensils with white vinegar. Um, and uh, 
it's seldom been necessary for me to have to use soap, but I don't approve of soaping in my in my uh, cooking utensils. And uh, then I rinse it in hot water. And I have to be careful with the hot water because the chlorine in the water can make me take an attack. And I've been known to drop to the floor, and Dad has to carry me to bed. In the meantime, so far I'm good. I also it's uh, quarter almost eight o'clock, and I eat late in the day. I've been doing that since I'm six years old, pretty much. And the reason for that is because I do have Parkinsonism. I'm not saying you should do that. But if I eat, my brain shuts down. I can't walk. I can't ski. I can't dance. I can't do anything. So I started very young so that I could go to school. And, um, and, and I eat later in the day. And that's another reason I will gain weight when I don't want to. But uh, I can't help it. So I have to watch what I eat because I can only eat at night. Now th this is this is the chicken broth, and when it and when it cools off, I'm going to put it in the freezer. And once it's frozen, it's really easy to get all the fat off. This is the um, cabbage. I had quite a bit of cabbage, as you can see. I put them in larger containers because I'm going to be eating mainly cabbage, and that's my chicken. And I'm going to probably have half that. I'm going to have one chicken thigh per meal and plus a whole bunch of other stuff um, like vegetables and, and you know the broccoli and carrots and peas or whatever and I eat a little bit a little bit a little bit because once I eat the chicken it makes me sleepy and I'll kind of pass out for an hour or two um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just sharing with you what I have to do but uh, you do what you got to do but for a negative diet um, you have to make sure that uh, your calories are are less than, and they're special foods. And I'm going to type that up, like I said. But that's just to show you for today. And these are all going to the chickens all going to go in the freezer, and when it, um, and I'll have like a two day supply there. I'll take it out of the freezer, and uh, and it'll be good for a day. It won't go bad. And I and with the um, cabbage, I'm going to be eating that with vinegar. Um, and um, a bit of pineapple juice, which I'm going to mix in right now and put it away into the fridge because the, it'll, it'll soak into the food. Okay, um, that's just to give you an idea of part, what, part three, no kidok. Oh, I can't, um, anyway, this is how I live. I have to come into the bedroom and shut the door. It's only uh, not even nine o'clock, but by eight o'clock, Dan is sleeping, and I sleep, and I have to make my meals, and I have to do everything late at night because that's the only time I can function. And he's already asleep, and the kitchen is so open that he, this apartment totally sucks. And I have to come into the bedroom, and and I have to microwave in in a bedroom late at night, and I have to come in the bedroom and you know, do this and make noise because every sound he wakes up and he gets mad. This apartment is the pits. Unbelievable. But anyway, I just wanted to show you, like, I mean, I have, it, it's crazy. I'm going to be like uh, an hour trying to make a salad because I, got, I have to whisper and I can't do anything and I can't make any noise and i got to wash the vegetables and everything. Fooey. But I never had to do that on Pine Street. I'm almost done. I'm, um, oh, there it is. I'm putting in a little bit of, of, um, I put in a little bit of, uh, walnuts. Okay, I didn't mention that. It happens to be really, really, really good for the heart. And, um, just, uh, a handful. Um, and yes, there is some calories in this meal, but I don't think there's 300. It ain't much or whatever it is. So we'll see what happens if I lose a half a pound or a couple of inches or whatever. Anyway, each day I'm going to give it a shot. 